What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at Stealthy Wool, our sister company in the fashion industry. Recently, I've noticed a surge in demand for our merino wool products. Although I love my overseas vendor, which measures bolts of fabric in meters, I decided to switch to a local vendor to reduce lead time and shipping costs. My new local vendor measures fabric in yards, but my database uses meters to track inventory. The different units might get confusing when we have to place purchase orders in yards and then receive them in meters. Luckily, Odoo's unit of measure feature automatically converts between units when I receive products in my inventory. This way I can order from whichever vendor I'd like in whatever unit they use, and I can be rest assured that Odoo will take care of all the confusing calculations for me when I receive the items into my inventory. So let's take a look at how we configure units of measure and how they're automatically converted in Odoo's inventory. We're gonna start it off by enabling the feature. Here in the inventory application, all we have to do is click configuration and then settings. And then we're just gonna scroll down to our product section. Here in the product section, all we wanna do is make sure the units of measure and packaging setting is enabled, so perfect. Next, we're gonna configure our units of measure categories by clicking on this units in packaging link. We can also get to this screen by clicking on configuration followed by units in packaging. Either way will get us to the same units in packaging page. Here we have a list of all of our different units of measure organized by columns by unit and the amount of each reference unit that it contains. If it doesn't make too much sense, don't worry. Calculating units of measure might seem daunting at first, but it breaks down into some pretty simple math. At Stealthy Wool, we sell a sewing masterclass which we can package in days. Our reference unit for working time is one hour, and since a standard working day is eight hours, the day unit of measure contains eight hours. Today, we wanted to look at bolts of fabric, which we measure in length. In Odoo, our default reference for length is one centimeter, which is 100 of a equal to a meter. In summary, to calculate what goes into the contains column or how many reference units go into the unit of measure, simply divide each unit of measure by the reference unit. Now let's create a unit of measure for our American wool supplier. Remember, because my company is based in the United States, we want to measure our bolts of fabric in yards. So we're just going to click new here in the upper left hand corner, which brings us to a new unit of measure form. To continue the abbreviated name convention, we're just going to type in YD in the unit name field, which resembles yards. Next, we're just going to click the reference unit here and select M so that our reference unit is one meter. This means that we have to calculate the ratio of one yard to one meter or how many meters is in one yard. And according to Google, it's 0.9144. And there you have it. If we click back to the units and packaging page for the breadcrumbs, we see our brand new unit of measure for yards. Now we can use the yards as a unit of measure and let's try that on a product. So first we're gonna to head to products and then followed by products once again. Now we're gonna update our Merino wool product, which saves quantities in our database as meters. Now we're going to update our vendor by going to the purchase tab and click add a line in the vendor column. And we're gonna select our vendor, Wool to People. We'll specify that this vendor sells their products to us in yards. And we're gonna do that by clicking into the unit column and changing meters to yards. One last thing, I want Wool to People to be our default vendor when we purchase Merino wool moving forward. So I'm gonna use this grip button here and just drag that vendor to the top. All right, let's see our units of measure in action. Here on the purchase dashboard, we're just gonna click new in the upper left hand corner to get a new purchase order started. From here, we're gonna specify that Wool to People is our vendor here on the vendor line. And then we're just gonna head down to the product section where we're gonna add our Merino wool. Real quick, I wanna check how much Merino wool we have here in our inventory. To do that, all I have to do is click this internal link button directly next to the product name, and that takes us to the product page. And here on the product page, I can see that we have 275.16 meters on hand through our on-hand smart button. Cool, but that's not enough for this upcoming season. 
So we're going to head back to our purchase order through the breadcrumbs here at the top. And back on the product line, we're going to update the quantity to 50. Just to make sure that we're covered for all of our upcoming customer orders. Now this PO looks good, so I'm just going to click confirm to order. One eternity later. And not too much time later, our new merino wool has arrived. On the PO itself, I'm just going to click received products to confirm that they're at my warehouse. This brings me to the receipt form, and in the quantity field, I can make sure that we've received either 50 yards or 45.72 meters. Next, we're just going to click validate to show that we've received the items into our inventory. Now, to see our entire stock of merino wool, I can click this graph icon right here, which brings us to a super detailed report page that lets us know that we have 320.88 meters of merino wool on hand. This is also a good place to let you know that once you performed any sort of stock operation with a product's unit of measure, that it will also be the main unit to perform any future stock operations. Hence why merino wool will always be measured in meters in our inventory, no matter what our vendor might use on their purchase order. Just something to keep in mind and a great reminder of how useful automatic conversion is. And that's all for today, Odoers. Learn how to configure new units of measure and how to utilize them in existing and new products. I'm going to learn how to make a neck buff, but I'll see you next time.